We're learning more today about a deadly shooting Monday in North Minneapolis. Police responded to gunfire at 21st and Ileon Avenues North around 740 Monday night. They found a crashed vehicle and a man inside dead from a gunshot wound. That man was 33-year-old Nathaniel Smith of Dalton, Illinois. Police have arrested two men in connection with the shooting. The long holiday weekend means lots of time on lakes and rivers across the state. Before you head out this holiday weekend, DNR officials are urging boaters to think about safety first. Mary McGuire joins us now live from Lake Minnetonka with some boating safety tips. Hi, Mary. Hey, Kim and Allie, we are out here on gorgeous Lake Minnetonka this afternoon, and this place will be packed this weekend with folks out celebrating Memorial Day, but it's very important that people say, stay safe when they are on the water. I'm joined now by Lieutenant Adam Block with the Minnesota DNR. We're both wearing life jackets right now. Why is it crucial for everyone to wear one when they're on the water? The DNR is urging everybody to wear a life jacket. So far this year, we've unfortunately had three boating fatalities and seven drownings. Two of those those boating fatalities are some of the earliest fatalities we've experienced on the water in the past 10 years. So we know from statistics that in the past five years we've had 88 boating fatalities. If everybody were to wear a life jacket, we'd save at least 10 lives a year. And we were chatting a little bit earlier and texting while boating. You wouldn't necessarily think about it, about it, but distracted boating is becoming a problem. Yes, as the waters get busier and busier with uh, a lot of boat registrations, a lot of boat operators, we're urging people to put the phone down, operate the boat. It takes undivided attention as the waters can get very busy and challenging to operate. So we're urging everyone, put the phone down, pay attention to your responsibilities of driving that boat. And there was a tragedy here on Lake Minnetonka that prompted a, a new law here in the state of Minnesota called Sophia's Law. Can you explain what people uh, need to know that went into effect on May 1st of this year. Yeah, so Sophia's Law, if you have an occupancy designated area, you need to, that uh, occupant space that has a sleeping accommodations, a uh, galley with a sink, and a toilet needs to have these detectors. If you have a boat that doesn't meet those specs, but you have an enclosure where somebody can enter, then you need to have the CO stickers reminding people. So we are urging everybody that has a boat that has the ability to produce carbon monoxide to get your detectors, get your stickers, and stay safe out there. And another important reminder a lot of people might want to indulge in some celebratory cocktails this weekend. Make sure that you have a designated camp captain behind the wheel of your boat, Kim and Allie. All right, Mary, those are all good safety reminders. Thank you.